all historian they know that uh, the Middle East region was only looking for the spark because we have this before in Eastern Europe, in Latin America in the 80s, in Eastern Europe in the 90s, where everything started in Poland, then Czechoslovakia, and ended in Romania, Bulgaria, and all of that. This is what Huntington called it, the third wave of democratization. And the fourth wave of democratization, the color revolutions in, U in Ukraine, in Lebanon, in Georgia. It was a matter of time before that arrived to the Middle East. Because you have very educated middle class, a very educated young generation who are open to the social media, who are open to the new revolution in technology. And of course, they, when they compare what's happened, what's going on in, in other countries and what they are going in, in, the, in their own countries, a lot of disappointment and frustration. Then it was a matter of time and the way when the spark will start and when the revolution will erupt it. This is why it was started in Tunisia where Mohammed Bouazizi set, uh, set himself fire and no one expected. That's what will happen in Tunisia will end it up with the most aggressive dictatorship regimes in Egypt, in Yemen, in Libya, and of course in Syria. The struggle started, but it was much more difficult in the whole Arab region than in other regions, in Latin America or in, in, in Eastern Europe, because the nature of, of the authoritarian regimes in the Middle East more aggressive and more authoritarian. We see that the number of casualties been killed in Libya, in Yemen, and now, of course, the tragedy. It's uh, what's going on in, in, in Syria. First, politics about dignity, how the way the security forces and mukhabarat, they're dealing with the, with the citizens, with the, with the people. Second, of course, the, there is economic reasons where you have uh, an, uh, uh, an, uh, an economic crisis hit the whole region with the most important thing, the higher percentage of the un unemployment. You have in, in each Arabic country is different from other, other, but there is no less than 15 percentage. Then you have also, of all the, the, the uh, democratic, the demographic uh, growing of, 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 of all of these Arabic countries, they are very young societies. In Syria, as example, you have from 25 to 30, you have 58 percentage of the Syrian population less than 30 years old. And that's the same in Egypt, in Tunisia, and all of that. All of these fa factors and conditions uh, help in, 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 in the Arab Spring uh, to start it. Uh, uh, and, uh, in, in Tunisia was mu much easier because the role of, of, of the army, the national army, where you have very professional army who refuse to open or shoot uh, on citizens and stay away from politics and allowed for all the political parties uh, 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 to, uh, to start the democratic uh, uh, process. In Egypt, the army was professional. He refused to open the fire. On, on their citizens, but then he thought that he can play a role in the transition. The SCAF made a lot of mistakes in, 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 the, in the transition process. In Syria and in Libya, it was the much worst, where you, you have very strong army, but it's not a professional. It's a family army. The army is made not to protect the people rather than to defend the Assad family. That's what happened where the army is, is uh, uh, itself uh, uh, collapsed. Most of the officers and soldiers refused to open the fire and they joined what's called the Free Syrian Army and others who are still loyal to the Assad regime, uh, still fighting with the Assad regime. And uh, we don't know when that will end, if there is no international support, where the, the Syrian people, they are bleeding for international support uh, for international, for the United States to take actions to, imp to implement the no-fly zone, 
and the safety zone. Uh, but unfortunately, the United States uh, 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 did not take any actions, and allowing this uh, uh, this struggle uh, uh, to go on and drag in, which left it, as I said, more than 35,000 being killed, uh, more than two million and a half displaced inside Syria internally, and more than half million as the Syrian refugees in neighboring countries.